You're welcome. First, I guess I need to write out uh, my measurements so as to make it very easy. I'm going to be working with the length of 22, the hip of 36 inches. Now, first we need to get our crotch length, which is hip divided by 4 plus 1. And that will give us 10 inches. Now for our trouser, we need his. Your his measurements can be 2.5, 3 inches, 3.5. And in a very rare case, let's say 4 inches. So I'm going to be working with his of 3 inches. And I'll have this together to fold my fabric or your pattern in order to get 13 inches. So we are concerned with the length of 22, the hip of 36. We need to get the crotch of 10 inches, that's what we are working with, and also the folding of 13 inches. All right, I am going to be folding a double flay. And if you happen to be my student, you should know I have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flay from 90 degree, 180, 360, um, 720, 1440, and all. So I'm sure you will not have a problem folding your double flay. Now, like I said, I'm, I'll be folding my double flay just like this. And the first thing I'm going to get is the 10 inches. So the same way I have folded this, I'm going to use my fabric to do that. But let me just illustrate what I'll be doing on my fabric. So first, I am going to get my 10 inches, which is the hip measurement. So after that, okay, let me use the spats because it's a bit longer. I'm going to mark out my 10 inches just like this we need this to be accurate as i'm following the same measurement of course we need to confirm our 10 inches now from this 10 inches i'll be taking my crotch length which is 10. now if I am um, making a straight trouser, that means I will need to add my two inches allowance. But in this case, because this is a flare, I will not be able to fold in to add my elastic. So that means I am going to be working, I mean, to add, I'll be adding the extra two inches, which is going to be a straight fabric, just a strip of fabric in order to attach my elastic. That's um, two inches. So it's more like I'm taking out two inches. And we have the crotch length of 10 inches just like this. So that when I have, when I had the two inches from this point to this point is going to be my 10 inches, which is the crotch length. Now, that means I am going to note this as well, 10 10, 10, and 10. Now, on this point, I have to be sure I can get my 13 inches. That is the hip measurement of 10, hip measurement of 10 plus his, which is 13. So I need 13 inches on this point. But from this point to this point, I need 10 inches. So I'll be working with 10 inches just like this just like this you can see the way i am taking it so it's going to give me a straight line and on this line on this very point it is going to be 13 inches so here is my 13 inches so if i'm going to connect it means i'll be connecting like this just like the shape of a ham o or better still you can bring it straight down 
then from this point that's from this very angle you take 1.5 inches so that from your 13 you'll be able to curve it out you can see the way it is to meet my 13. now from this angle whatever length that i have i am just going to maintain it like that in order to have the length of my trouser now what i have illustrated here i'll be doing that on my fabric so like i like i've um, rightly explained to us what i have here is my minus two remember i said we are still going to replace this with um uh, elastic and i have the length of 22 so i measured 23 so i can fold the base also minus two and i have my crotch length of 10 and from here this is my 10 inches 10 inches and on the crotch point i have my 13 inches now there are two ways to this from what i've illustrated here it means from the top to this crotch point it is going to be slightly fitted then from here to the base, it will flare out. Now, if you want yours to flare out from the waist, it means from this very edge, that's the crotch point now, you're going to take your his measurement, which is three inches. We're going to note the three inches from this edge. Here is the three inches. And I'm going to connect this three inches to the waist of 10 inches. The 10 inches that I measured here, I'm sure we remember that it's a hip measurement of 36, the um, plus four divided by four, which is the same as your hip measurement divided by four plus one. So that's the 10 inches that we measured here. And of course, our crutch length, to determine your crutch length is hip divided by four, plus one so here's the 10 inches that i measured so like i was saying regardless of the measurements you have here if you want your trouser to flare out from the waist it means you're going to take the three inches that's your his measurement if your his is 3.5 it means you take 3.5 if your his is 2.5 it means you take 2.5 so my his the his measurement i'm working with is three inches for the normal measurements of size eight um, size 10 so here's my three inches and i'm going to connect from this point to the 10 just like this so if i'm going to co to curve it out it means i will mark my 1.5 from this very edge and i'll be curving it out in this manner so as to align with this so whichever one you want to go for if you want it fitted from the waist to the crotch point to the base you're good and if you want it to flare out from the waist you are good to go as well so i want mine to flare out from the waist and i am going to be cutting The only thing I need to cut now is the base. Now, what we have here is both the front and the back. What I'm going to be doing from here is to open it up like this. Now, I am um, going to join the scratch part and I'll also join this. Then I'll come back to tell us what to do from there. All right, I have joined, like I said, and I am going to open it up like this.
So, after this, I am going to be adding the band, like I said. And what I did, I already cut it out. The hip measurement is 36 inches. Here is the 36. So here I have 37 inches. That will be my allowance, my seam allowance. And I folded it into two. Two inches is what we need. And I cut out 2.25 so that I can use the remaining inches to join. Now, my elastic, first I am going to join this just like this. I'm going to join it, then I'll fold it in this manner. Now, here is my elastic. My waist measurement is 28 inches, and I subtracted 5 inches. So here I have 23 inches. I'm also going to join this like this. You know, the elastic is going to expand, you can see. So I'm going to join the elastic like this, and I'll fix it in. Then from here, just like this, I am going to join so that the outward will look just like this. Now from here, after doing that, I am also going to join the sides of my trouser. You have to make sure the crotch points are aligned while joining. So you note that, then I'll join starting from this end straight up to the other hand and I am going to fold the base of my trouser. So I'm going to do that then I'll come back to show us how it looks like. And finally we've come to the end part of our trouser or our shorts anyways and this is the final outcome of it, the front and the back. And if you find this tutorial interesting click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. Share so others will learn too. And go ahead to make yours. Leave your comments in the comment section. Till I see you next class.